like this every single year, I have to tell you. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Hello, SMF Sunday School. I smile at Yohanna again. Uh, yeah, so I have this tail. Well, this wolf skin and this tail. This is, ah, Halloween. Yes, 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 can't fool you, right? But this doesn't seem to work. I mean, every year it's kind of like, he has a he's got lots of, of his own. Oh yeah, well, so why am I talking about Halloween? It's not churchy. Well, actually, it has something to do with church. Well, Halloween is actually the evening before two very important days in the church. Okay, first of all, we have something called All Saints Day, which is on a Sunday. What do you mean by All Saints Day? Well, All Saints Day is when we remember all the great women and men that came before us and uh, who the church called their saints because they are role models. For example, this is St. Mary Magdalene holding a, uh, a jar of something. So what do we know about St. Mary Magdalene? Why is she a role model? Well, she is actually the first disciple. She went to the empty tomb and she said, whoa, Jesus has risen. And she was the first one to went and, and tell everybody about Jesus is risen. The tomb is empty. So she is actually the first disciple. And then we can learn from her. And then she, uh, she also did a lot of other things, uh, trying to get to the tomb, to, uh, to embalm Jesus. So in serving and also in telling people about Jesus. So this is what we can learn from St. Mary Magdalene. So we, and all saints say is that we will remember all those people who are saints and how we can learn from them. And then, so that's all saints say. And they are also family because they've just gone before us. And then after that, on November the 2nd, we have something called All Souls Day. Now this day, I mean, okay, rest in peace. We remember all those people who have died. And you're thinking, why do we remember those who have died and not around anymore? That is a thing. We always think that, oh, they're, they're, they're dead. We don't know where they are. They are, well, they're with God. And then we pray for them. Many people think, oh, we pray for them because they are not with God yet. That is one kind of saying, but then we don't know. Only God knows. But the reason why we remember them is because death and life is actually connected. Because they transform into a different form, they are no longer with us. But in spirit, they are actually in God and we are also in God. So we are actually together in a very different way. So... Some of you must have lost maybe a pet, or if you are a little sad, maybe you lost a great 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 grandparents, and or maybe you've lost a friend, and they're no longer with you, and you miss them very very much. But I want you to know, and God Jesus wants you to know this too, because there's a very good story. This story is about uh, someone called Lazarus. He was dead for four days in the tomb. So his sisters, Mary and Martha, went to Jesus and said, Oh, Jesus, 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 had you been here, my brother would not have died. He would still be alive. It's been four days. And Jesus says something really, really radical, meaning groundbreaking. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me should never die and will live. Do you believe it? Meaning, Jesus said, well, I die on the cross, so I, Jesus, somewhere, Jesus, took away death with his own death. And said, so, well, because of that, now everyone is back together in union with God. So you, you better believe it because you will see them again in time. Maybe not in this life, but somehow you will be all together because we are all in God. And that is very important. So anytime when you miss someone because they're no longer around, just have to hope that you will see them again because they are in God. And that is very important. And so, well, even though we actually celebrate Halloween, we're actually celebrating life and death because life and death are the things that we celebrate in God. They are all in God. So, well, I hope you had a lot of candies. This year is a little bit different. And I don't know if you actually went to the party and I hope you, you actually won the prize. But until then, have a good time and then believe that life 
and death is all in God, and we are all good because God said, all shall be well. Until then, take care and stay safe and pray on. Bye-bye.